No, I can't. I have these two dumb bitches <laughs> podcast studio in my dining room, okay? Uh, okay, guys, I believe that she has hit record. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome to <laughs> Slop City Podcast. We are reporting to you live from Alaska. <laughs> I am in a jacket that somebody has surely died in that I procured. Oh, for sure. They died in that. <laughs> Someone definitely died in this. There's a couple fiber burns. Now, that could be from a little rat gnawing. <laughs> gnawing on my new um thrift find but comment um in the episode that's what you're watching right now go to the comments type in if you like my jacket or not comment below comment below if you like my jacket or not i didn't lock my car well guess you're getting robbed i love getting robbed i'm still getting all my belongings we're not we can't be getting robbed on this um Secure premises, everybody knows that. Ain't secure right now. No, it's <laughs> it doesn't feel secure because I don't I, cause Oh, that warm coffee going into my esophagus is like heaven. Man, I'm so glad I decided to get iced coffee when we're recording in the storage unit when it's thirty eight degrees outside. Well, here's the deal, folks. <sighs> uh last week it was a balmy eighty. And this week I guess the Lord Tooketh and blessed us. Blessed us and tooketh away. Yeah, and I'm not sure if the Lord is trying to prepare us for the cruise that we are getting ready to embark on. If he's trying to make us more grateful for the sun. Because we all know that we're going to be receiving third degree burns. The entire Everybody needs to wear SPF 100. We're going to be close to the sun, guys. If you are on the cruise, you have already, it's already happened. Did we talk about that? On here? Yeah. I don't know if we did. Why don't you tell them what I did? <laughs> we're in the First, car. let's clap. We're in the car, and we're talking about the cruise, and Tina goes, oh, man. <laughs> Guess that sun is really going to be cooking since we'll be closer to it. I go, huh? Yeah, we're going to be pretty <laughs> high up on that cruise ship and closer to the sun. <laughs> And everyone in the car was kind of like, yeah, wait, what? And and they all kind of took a moment where they were like, yeah, well, we need to wear our sunscreen, Tina. Okay, we get it. And I think Tina thought we were going to be in a spaceship <laughs> several light years away from the earth. I, and we were going to be close to the sun. <clears throat> Can I be honest? I definitely thought the height of this cruise ship was at least 20,000 feet high. That's what I thought. That's I don't big. I don't think I have depth perception. I think my depth perception is off and if we had a local optometrist or just anyone to really test it and see me in action, I think that they would conclude that I have some kind of depth perception disorder. So what if you found out that Everything you see is like flat. <laughs> I would That'd be, be wild. Oh, I'd be so bummed. I'd be like, oh God, what have I been doing? Why do I get on YouTube every night and answer comments on flat earther videos? <laughs> I do it every night for six hours. No, I'm kidding. But um, mm. I would be a bit upset. I just think it, I don't think it was a dumb comment. I just think... Because as far as I know, we're not really that much closer to the sun. If we're here or 20,000 feet. I mean, I guess we are closer to the sun, but I... Well, because when you go hiking, when you go skiing and stuff like that, whatever, you can be really, really, really high up. And people think, oh, I'm not going to like get sunburned. It's cold outside or whatever. And it's like, no, baby, you're getting higher up. That's well, what they've I always said. I don't think it's the height. I think it's just the fact that the sun is out. I, 
I think we need Neil deGrasse Tyson to answer this because I, I have no idea. We need Bill Nye the science guy. Yeah, I would rather have him than Neil deGrasse Tyson. And that's just because I know Neil uh, Bill Nye the science guy's song by heart. So can you give us a little bit of it? Boo, 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 boo. Bill Nye the science guy. Bill Nye the science guy is driving down the streets of Nashville. He's on his way to Slop City headquarters, which technically is quartered in St. Louis, but currently we're using the storage spot because we don't have big business yet. <laughs> Do you think that he will show up wearing a white lab coat? Lab coat? And have some charts for us to look at and some diagrams. If he doesn't have a clipboard, I won't trust him. I won't kiss him. I won't love him. I won't listen. Where's his clipboard? Clipboard, 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 clipboard. Bill Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> Bill Nye the Science Guy. I don't know the answers. I just know that be if we're on the cruise ship, we're not going to be that much closer to the sun. We need to take the same precautions that we would take normally. Well, here's what sunscreen. I... Sunscreen. Here's what I can tell you. We are going to be closer to the equator. Yeah, and, and then we will kind of be closer to the sun. You're right. That part is right. But... My my vision that I thought you were saying is that, that we'll be on a cruise ship that's so high mm -hmm. that we'll be near outer space. Oh, that is exactly <laughs> what I was saying. <laughs> so high into the sky that we would be approaching the clouds and the layer where, you know, the space, space shuttles go through to have to break through. Yeah, the firmament. The firmament in the sky. In the atmosphere. Yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. And I think that is, I think there still is some truth to it. Well, when you, when you get on the cruise ship and we're all going to be gathering together to get on, you know that, right? Yeah. We're all going to be shuttled there and getting on together. Yeah. Why were you telling me that like that? Well, I think it's going to be cr pretty cool that we'll be together because then I can watch your face. Oh. And watch you go like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, we are close to the sun. Oh, dude, I got to do a video of Svetlana asking Bill Nye to, like, <laughs> tell her if she's closer to the sun in a cruise ship. Uh, Bill Nye, I am going on wonderful vacation, and I have big questions for you. <laughs> I wonder what he would say. <clears throat> Me too. I want to know. Because I'm literally just going and, okay, I'm going off of the times that I've hiked, the times that I've like been up, you know, and I've hiked a few times where it's a little colder up there and it does get colder when you get higher. And do you know why that is? Uh, is it because the air, the altitude, the air is thinner yes. uh, the higher you go? Yes, Barbara. Oh, Barbara, that's wonderful. See, yeah. I don't uh -huh. think you're that far off. I just think the way you said it made me think that you thought we were going to be in outer space. For sure. I mean, and I did. A part of me was like, we're going to be closer to the sun. <laughs> closer to the sun. <laughs> yeah. We just need to take precautions regardless. Yeah, everybody, guys, listen. Business as usual. When you're on, when you're closer to the sun, it's just business as usual. Boy, we'll probably be laying out on, on those pool chairs just so hot. Just I know, because there's no pool up there when I looked up. We're on our level? Yeah. I mean, there is, I but it's like in the, in the thing. Yeah. But are they get? can they lift the thing? We're talking about all this stuff right now on this pod that we're going to find out in literally three days. Three days. And then we will report back to you. That's, that's what, yeah. Hopefully, I mean, the crew, I, I hope some people got to see my tits on the cruise. I hope that, um, you know, I didn't fall over the cruise. <laughs> yeah. I hope I make it through the cruise. Um, yeah, that I don't die. I'm not like that granny that jumped in the middle. Oh God. <laughs> that would be something I would do. <laughs> 
poor lady. She jumped, dude. <laughs> she, she, grandma jumped off that boat. She was not trying to spend any more time with her grandchildren. <laughs> I mean, the whole family is rooting for her in her little linen button-up shirt that she's wearing onto the boat or the cruise. It's clearly a family reunion. Come on, Grandma. Grandma. Grandma's getting the first one on the boat. Come on, Grandma. And you hear the whole family begin to cheer and clap. (laughs) And there is, I would say, a... Two two feet, a foot of space in between the the loading dock onto the onto the boat, and Grandma slipped. I mean, she just went straight down, dude. And then the horrified screams of her family that'll haunt me forever. Where the screams, she can't swim. God, I appreciate that. I'm I'm sure Grandma's okay, but the cameraman should have kept that shit still instead of screaming and carrying on, so we could see how Granny got up. God. I mean, I I was crying <laughs> uncontrollably Sobbing, when I saw. I was sadness for her. Oh no, I couldn't stop laughing. I was laughing this hard where I'm crying right now. I mean. I could I couldn't even believe someone got that on camera. I couldn't believe that she just slipped down like that. <laughs> like a noodle, dude. Like a there when we were kids, Anton, my younger brother, I remember we were like we lived in Overland Park at the time. So I was at least in seventh grade. I remember my brother walking to the table with a plate of spaghetti with nothing on it and the shit just slipped the fuck off. I mean, there was like a little bit of butter slipped off so fast. It was like, boom, his whole fucking dinner on the ground, all the noodles. That's literally what the grandma looked like. She literally was, she looked so fucking confident and like everyone's like, I mean, how can that go wrong? She had two people holding her. (laughs) They were probably just as shocked. They couldn't believe. They couldn't believe what happened. Oh, and the horrified screams is I'll just never get it out of my head. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can't swim. Imagine being between the boat and the dock and how fucking scary that would be if you couldn't swim. Oh, for sure. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. It and is you're just like it- <laughs> Oh. God, and you're elderly. <laughs> Whew. That's enough to make a person lose their mind. I just am, I'm so confused on so many levels. I need to rewatch the video in depth so I can actually, it's like, why the fuck did she, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> that, I hate when people talk when they need to clear their throat, so I it. needed to clear it. You hate it. Um, why would she let go of their hands? I just, she just didn't know what was going on. She just talk about depth perception. She just thought there was a step there and was not prepared for the way her body just slipped like a noodle in between there. Sorry. I'm trying to find it. Cause I want to watch it and then put it in there. Grandma's the first one on the boat. Yeah, I'm definitely, well, Sorry, not really, because we can just. <laughs> I t- I go just go on TikTok. dot com, and um, I j- all I typed in was G R A B D like typo, and it's the first thing. Grandma falls from boat. First thing, everyone's seen it. I don't even know why we need to put it in, but we should, or at least hear me. <laughs> That is slow motion. <laughs> well, it, I think. Oh, I'm trying to think if she actually went down because they. <laughs> it sure looked like it. Because they go, she can't swim. <clears throat> but the guys did look like they had their hands on her, 
on her sides. I don't know. Either way, it's, it was like this. Uh, it is. <laughs> it is one of the funniest videos I have ever seen in my entire life. I've thought about it, and it really is. I need a follow up. Yeah, it's like you want to see the bruise. I want to see if grandma is truly alive. I want to hear grandma's take on what happened. For sure. I just just walking and I can't see so good. And I thought there was a step there. And lo and behold, there wasn't. Well, I don't really like my grandson, <laughs> Andrew's new girlfriend, Meryl. I don't like her. I don't like that her parents named her an old-timey name, and she's 22. So, yeah, I I may have slipped a little. To <laughs> It's like, what is she? I was trying to get the attention off Meryl all day. It is, oh, Andrew's new girlfriend, Andrew's new girlfriend. Well, I was sick of hearing about it. We were at breakfast, and all, I, I wanted to talk about how wonderful the lobster omelet was that I got. And I did I didn't even get to chat with anyone about my omelet. I had to talk about Meryl the whole time. So, yeah, I wanted to slip in for a second. I can swim. Slip in, slip out. (laughs) Sheila, under her shirt, had like floaties. (laughs) Professional swimmer. Yeah. Um, I I just can't even fucking believe that. What if grandma was a dummy and the video was fake? Well, that would be really fucking upsetting. More upsetting than if a real woman fell between there? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a yes, cut. it would be. Because I'm, I mean, I'm sitting here getting so much joy out of it. And out what? of grandma falling? And what? It's all fake? None of this is real. You know how fucking hilarious it is? Imagine one of the Golden Girls falling off a, in an episode of Golden Girls. They go on a cruise and one of them fall into the... That would be fucking hilarious. It would be. Everybody would be losing their mind, but oh, it's a real grandma. So we're sad. By the way, if you were at the show the other night or, you know, while we were on tour where I did the Terry Schiavo joke and then I went off on you guys... I'm not sorry. You went off on them? <laughs> no, I just, someone was, they said something, people groaned at it or whatever, and I just kind of went off, and I was like, oh, fuck you. You wake up every morning and think about Terry Schiavo, do you? Well, how did I not hear you this? You think about her every day. You wake up and think about Terry Schiavo, and then when I was bringing you on stage, I said, or no, I think I was bringing Mike on, not you. I was like, okay, guys, this one's for Terry Schiavo. <laughs> Let's go. And I, I did. I, I went for it. And what I went hard. Um, some people laughed, and that's great. The joke is <clears throat> incredible. It's one of your favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. But, yeah. That's um, all. I did not hear that. I always have a hard time hearing your sets. Yeah, because we have panic attacks before we go on stage. Panic attacks and temporary blindness and hearing impairment. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You <laughs> That is Libby's symptoms before she goes on stage. Oh, it's even worse than when Mike was on there. Why? Because you don't... I had to wait another... Oh, yeah. I had yeah. to wait another 15 minutes. Mm. And like this. <laughs> Just sitting there panicking. Sitting there pa- You started saying sitting now like... Like Chelsea. That I think I got I had to have picked it up from all of you guys. I don't I, say set. I well, I feel like I started saying it as a bit and then it just like stuck in real life. I'm just sitting there. It's fucking hilarious, dude. Setting. So trashy. Saying setting is trashy. It is the trashiest thing that you can say. And whenever I say setting, I always imagine <laughs> you setting setting like doing your little when you're sitting in your little chair looking around that's what I imagine when I say setting but that's sitting that ain't setting I feel like that is setting this is setting I'm setting it on the table yeah that is setting that's right that's setting 
That's what setting is, okay? Libby doesn't want her friends picking up little little minutia. She wants people speaking in proper grammar. <laughs> and well, I it's get so funny because I've heard you say it a couple times. I'm like, is she doing a bit? And then you're just saying it for it's, real. But it is a bit. Like program. Like, like program. Yes, it. exactly. That's how it started to like, I'm like, it's so funny to just be having like a very serious conversation too. And then to be like, yeah. And oh my God. And then he was just sitting there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. And like you guys were sitting there. It's like, I don't know. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and the fact that there are people I get, you know, and that's fine. If that's how you grew up and that's, that's how that fine. word is to you, great, fine. I have no problem with it. It's just fucking funny, it's funny. because it's so wrong. And that's why I love it. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm appropriating culture. It's so by funny. By saying setting. When, when Chelsea's like explaining the meet and greet, she's like, and Lib- Libby will be setting over there. <laughs> Every time I laugh to myself. Yeah. And people think just because she's sitting there. (laughs) (coughs) Oh, God. I love it. Program's a good one. Program. Stories. Program's good. Stories is good. There's a lot of good banger ones. This morning, um, I I got to spend some time with Roger. uh, How was it? um, Chelsea's or with Greg's dad. He was, uh, it was, it was nice. He was, he was kind. He was sweet. Did he laugh? Yeah, dude. He's just, cr- well, because Beth and I were in the trailer unloading stuff out of the small one. And while we were in it, it tipped over, <laughs> tipped forward. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. How? There's a rock under it. Uh, bro, it, I guess once everything was out of there, it was just so fucking so light. Went- yes. Did you guys fall out? No, but we did begin to run out. We got scared. We were like, ah, <laughs> and we were running out all scared. And Roger and Greg and everyone were standing on the front porch. Roger was standing there. Greg was standing on the front porch. Did they laugh <clears throat> hysterically? Oh, yeah. And they were. They, they said something like, Roger goes, oh, yeah, I bet you got a couple of skid marks. <laughs> yeah. Like that, he thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Did he say, "Well, go away"? No, he didn't. But he should. <laughs> oh God, he was. <laughs> go away. <laughs> well, golly, <laughs> dude. Oh my God, I was laughing so fucking hard. <laughs> Skid marks. He, what did Greg do? He was. Sta- um, Greg was like. Uh, Okay, okay, it's okay, you know, because this is what happened directly before that. Me, Beth, uh, you know, this morning or whatever, before we record this pod, Beth's like, hey, help me out with some stuff in the trailer, whatever. She's moving things from the big trailer to the small trailer, moving shit around. So she's pulling up the Suburban with one of the trailers up to the other trailer. And Greg decides to let every dog out at that moment. And then, so Greg's like screaming, yelling, blah, blah, blah. Like, "Ah, ah," you know, freak. And then Beth got fucking scared and thought she was going to kill Gary. She couldn't see him. She got really scared and panicked. Whatever. I get it. So that was already heart rate. (laughs) That was already a heart rate accelerating. And this was all before what hour? This was all before 9.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. There was a lot going on. Let me just stop you to say uh, all day yesterday, Beth is like, I can't wait to sleep in and do nothing all day. And she's up at 9 o'clock working. She was up at 7 a.m. Oh, she's trash. We went to bed at 11 last night. Stop working. Beth can't stop working. She's a workaholic, dude. Because, I mean, guys, basically, to give you some context for where we're at mentally right now, we it, today is March 18th. Yesterday, we celebrated the great holiday of St. Patrick's. Just kidding. We didn't do shit. St. Patty's Day. <clears throat> um, so, we drove from North Carolina back to Nashville. We've been on the road since February 2nd or something like that. So, I mean, you know, basically... A month and a half right now, straight. I've barely been home. 
we've all been, you know, our brains are just mush, you know? Fried. Fried. So we, yeah, we got home last night, chill for a little bit. I talked to Rafe on the phone for a minute, said hey to Roger when I came in, and he was just chatting it up. We ended up talking about tornadoes. I mean, you know, Whoa. weather events. Golly. Golly. That's how you, that's how you <clears throat> get close to older people. Talk about weather. Talk events. about the weather. <laughs> weather related events. Weather related events. It's the quickest way to make a friend. You're right. Quickest way to make an elderly friend. You're right. You know, bring up the weather. Ask if they're enjoying the weather. <laughs> Ask if they're not enjoying the weather. Ask if they have any plans to do anything fun in this weather in a couple of days. Yeah. Maybe say, hey, when it warms up a little, <laughs> what are your plans? Yeah, I noticed yesterday you were working on the trailer. Were you warm enough or was it too cool for you? Yeah, people love talking about the fucking weather. So <clears throat> we're chit-chatting up, doing all that last night. And then this morning, just kind of getting all of our shit together. And I was like, oh, fuck. As this trailer thing starts, mm -hmm. you know, our brains are fried. So we're all stressed out. So Beth, Beth is already a little on edge. And then we're in the fucking trailer. She's supposed to be relaxing. <clears throat> well... Not on edge, but just heart rate up. Because it's like, you know, we're moving shit. You think you killed Gary? Like, could you live with yourself? No. I'd drive off a cliff immediately. <laughs> I, d I mean, I couldn't even. I can't even think about that. But so she was freaking out. And then we're fucking standing in a trailer. I didn't know they can fucking tip like that. This motherfucker just went. I mean, whatever. It was on the rock balancing it we were walking in front grabbing stuff out and we were here and then it just went boop did you guys fall into the wall we didn't fall we just kind of started running out of it because in my mind i was like it's gonna flip it's, it's gonna, gonna roll flip. down the hill i was like oh god we're gonna be doing somersaults and I, i'm gonna end up like that guy in that episode of yellowstone they they roughed up a guy and they put him in the back of a thing and then they drove around all crazy and then he died so yeah um it was a bit of a traumatic morning <laughs> And then, uh, dude, before I was leaving, I was saying bye to Roger. I'm like, hey, I was like, hey, uh, Greg asked me to have you move this car to there, hook up this trailer, whatever. He's like, oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll see you later. And he goes, I'm sure we'll all get together. We could have some uh, chicken and nut. <laughs> and some I, what? Chicken? Chicken. Chicken. I don't remember exactly what he said. If he said chicken and livers or chicken and dumplings or something. And then he goes, hey, you're a you're a country gal. You get it. And I was like, yeah. You're a country I'm like, yeah. Gal. I was like, yeah, I grew up in the Midwest for sure. And he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do something like that. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. No, he's very sweet. And this morning I woke up wearing like my uh, Grateful Dead fucking cut off shirt. And just underwear, and I'm, like, walking, don't have my contacts in, so I can't see. And I, like, look over to my right, and I see someone that it's, like, Roger and Beth. And I'm, like, oh, God, I don't have any fucking pants on. And I kind of just go, morning. And, like, because <laughs> they're looking at me, I can feel it. And I was, like, he goes, morning, Dana, as I'm walking Aww. in. Yeah. Did you <clears throat> sleep with Beth last night? Yes, in bed. It was so cute. You guys were just sitting there eating your little snacks. Yep. Watching TV. Yeah. I woke up today and um, this is how I got out of the bed today. <laughs> Spent the night in my little uh, mosquito net bed. Yep. So give us a play by play. <laughs> Of how that all works. And if you guys have been following the Centipede Chronicles of Libby's life lately, uh, there are, what are they, Eastern Bark Centipedes? Eastern Bark Centipedes. Wonderful. Um, it's good stuff. Not usually aggressive, don't usually bother humans, but for some reason, they love to crawl on me. And I had to buy a uh, mosquito, a fully, uh, it, it's a mosquito net, but it's also the bottom. So it's completely enclosed oh okay so you put it under the mattress nope i put it on top of the mattress okay put all my blankets and pillows inside of it 
Oh. It's, it's basically just like a tent on top of my bed. Okay. What about your sheets? How do you put sheets on there? I put all my sheets inside of there. Do they slip through and wrap around? No. The, it's what? literally like you're setting a tent on your bed. Okay. I, I just guess put my shit in there. Yeah, I guess I'm just not understanding how you're going to tighten the fitted sheet on. I don't have there. a fitted sheet. I just have a regular f- sheet just in there. Oh, just a flat one? Yeah. Ugh. I know. It's going to be a hard life. It's going to be a hard life. And I could put a mattress in there, and maybe that's what I'll do when I get my my new bed. I'll put the mattress in there. The, dude, there's got to be. What about ceilings? What if they put ceilings? Would that be better? I don't know what would be better, but I'm not taking my chances anymore. <laughs> yeah. I won't wake up another day with a centipede crawling on me. No. Casually. No. no. I mean, Libby, I will. the videos you're posting of these centipedes, uh, the videos I've seen of them are horrific. Truly horrifying. They're disgusting. It feels <laughs> prehistoric. It feels prehistoric, but also alien. Yes, it is. It's prehistoric. Very, It's very predator vibe. I don't oh. like it. It's disgusting. Um, and I will say that if I saw one of those crawling on me in any way, I would have a full-blown meltdown. Yeah. So far, so good. Um, I did anticipate that Annie was going to be a problem. So I came to bed with... Um, some packing tape, which was great because anytime she would start clawing it, I would take the tape and then just go over the hole. Oh, God. Because Annie thinks, Annie's in there, you know, looking like, what's going on? (laughs) And just like all of a sudden we'll just go (laughs) on the side. Just out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. She's going, and I'm like, no. And then anytime she wants to get out, then I have to. Oh, God. Open it up. This is not going to be sustainable. It's not. It's, you're, I'm going to be honest. I know what's going to happen. The novelty will wear off. (laughs) In a little. It's already worn off. Oh, yeah. Because I go pee like three times a night. So all night I'm going. No. I get it. You needed something for now, but it's like, this ain't going to last, you know? I hope it does, Libby, for your sake. I really do. I understand. But I'm like, I know myself. I would be, I would be like, oh, I'm never letting a centipede <laughs> crawl on me again. I can't. I can't. No, I mean, I. I don't know what I'm going to do. I expected to come home and see a thousand centipedes dead because they had the orchid man come. Well, I didn't see one dead bug. Uh, well, I mean, they're probably spraying it into the walls and shit like that. You know what I mean? That's what they got to do. They got to go in, in the wall. I don't know. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to, I, I just went ahead and fess that up. I thought I, was I about would just to, see one dead one. Not, I just didn't see any dead anything. Nope. Everything's still quite vibrantly alive. Yeah. And I anticipated waking up and just seeing centipedes all on the top of my what am I going to call it? It's not, it is mosquito netting, but it's more like a tent mosquito netting. Canopy. Canopy. You well, got a mosquito canopy. Th- picture one of those nice little canopy things that hang kind of over a bed. You know, nice little one. Except this one's not nice. This one is a uh, very trashy looking mesh netting. It's a tent. It's a tent, basically, that, that is in, in canopy form. Wish I would have had that in Mexico. Yeah. And people keep saying, well, what if it's already in there? It's not already in there because I put all new bedding in there and shook it out before I put it in there and looked at each side to make sure no critters were on it. Now, the only possible way there could be one is if when I open it to let Annie in, if she brings one with her. Yeah, if there's one attached to her or something. And I would have to fully examine her each time she gets in and out. Yeah, so um, to do that properly, we've got 
you know, a TSA pre-check system <laughs> set up for Annie. She um, does she, have to take off her shoes. She is a known <clears throat> traveler. She's a known traveler. Libby got her known traveler number for TSA pre-check. We've been obsessed with the, saying the known traveler number thing. Libby has. Um, I don't know how that works for people that are possibly in a wheelchair or on a scooter. I don't know if I can just drive on up there. Oh, yeah, you can cruise on up. Yeah, I think you just cruise on up and just, you know. Cruising down the streets of Nashville. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we're cruising down Concourse B in the airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah, we're walking down the escalator. Wah, wah. Now, I'm taking my scooter for when I'm in Miami after the cruise, and I'm putting it in that suitcase right there. Oh, great. Because I don't want, I just got it, so I don't want them to break it. But it can fit in that suitcase. I think that's great. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, so you don't, so it's not going to be like, uh, would you have to check it normally? Yes. Is, Oh, but it fits in that motherfucker. Yeah. That's what I'm talking so about, normally baby. Normally, you can ride it up to the gate and then ride it down. And then, you know how they take, like, baby carriages and stuff? Yeah. That's what they would do to the thing. <laughs> baby carriages. Baby carriages. Well, that's what I hate called. baby carriages. Get that baby carriage away. Oh. Anytime someone says stroller, I'm like, you mean a fucking baby carriage? Baby carriage. That's what Rosemary's baby was in, a baby carriage. Ooh, Yeah. <clears throat> We're driving down the streets of the Nashville. Well, you get to go home today and see your dogs, your partner, your home, your neighbor, and not to say any spoiler alerts, but your. Yep. Nobody heard that because I beeped it out. Yeah. Libby beeped it out. But what did I beep out that you're getting a. Yep. She beeped out that I'm getting a future apartment. What are you getting? A future apartment. Yeet, 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 yeet. There you go. Yep, I was waiting. I was waiting for it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, getting another place. Everyone here is probably thinking, wait, what? You're getting a future apartment. Does that mean you and Rafe are breaking up? No, not at all. Not at all. But we got you, didn't we? <laughs> you know how stupid we get. <laughs> okay, so my loving and dear neighbor, Emily, who is a uh, OG friend, one of the first people I met in comedy, so very important to me. Um, she is moving out of the side-by-side -side duplex next to me. And Rafe and I were trying to think of like, fuck, dude, we got to find a cool fucking neighbor, you know? Because that's... Now, I, I don't want just some random willy-nilly person over there. No, dude, and some fucking irresponsible, like, I, I just, I need someone who's on the same page as me, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't want to drama. We're going to be sharing a backyard, all that. So, we were kind of, like, stressing about it. Were you going like in this? In a way. Ah, tearing my hair out. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was doing this. Oh, wow. So we were really, we were really stressing. You were fretting. We were freaking out. But yeah, um, you know, um, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I need fucking, I need a space. I need a space for my office. I need a space for a studio um, to do stuff. And um, I'm going to be starting something really cool with Svetlana and Svetlana Svetlana Igorevna Plushenko Smith <laughs> I think we haven't decided I haven't decided the full uh thing but yeah there's gonna be something really fucking cool I'm gonna do with Svetlana I'm gonna do a show with a lot of cool shit with her I'm excited and I'm gonna do all that next door so I'm basically gonna have two houses right next to each other we doing big business big business or you could just cut a hole in the wall Yep. It'll just be one big place. Well, I could call Miley Cyrus and have her grab a wrecking ball. Oh, you're right. And uh, blast that out. 
No, I think there's a lot That's of... That's li- actually a good idea. To call Miley Cyrus. Yeah. It's her least favorite song to sing live. How do I know this? Because yesterday I was on Facebook.com and I saw the fakest looking AI article that I've ever seen in my entire life. What did I do? Click Clicked on, on it. it. <laughs> Clicked on it. Read it in its entirety. Some facts about Miley Cyrus. Mm-hmm. Wrecking Ball is her least favorite song to perform live. But how do you know if it's true? If it's the worst looking AI article you've ever what seen? What are you talking about? It's on the internet. Everything's true on there. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, all of these things that I was reading, it's like the photos too. I'm like, I don't even think that's Miley Cyrus. Was it Miley Cyrus, a weird eye and a f- six fingers? <laughs> you yeah. always got to look at the hands and the eyes for AI. Oh, they mess that stuff up it, sometimes? For some reason, the hands on AI generated pictures are always fucked up. And the eyes are always just a little wonky. Yeah. Like there was one of these old women who it, they made it look like they were collecting condoms on the beach. You zoom in and you start looking at their hands and their hands are like, <laughs> and it, it, it's just arthritis. It's our, it's either arthritis or AI. It's arthritis or that they're a fucking robot. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. A robot. Yeah. There's a lot of misinformation out there and everybody needs to be looking out. And, and the elderly people that were commenting on this, oh, great job, ladies. And I'm like, <sighs> Can if I? It wasn't bad enough. It's about to get worse for these elderly people. Oh God! Have you seen what Reba has been posting? I am so no. Okay, so in the last week, I have seen two screenshots that Reba has shared to her Instagram that are, I mean, the most scammiest of scammy things in the entire world. And yep, go to her Instagram right now and see what she's doing. The, I should pull them up or you pull them up and read her things because it is fucking hilarious. Reba is basically sharing these scams on her Instagram, like screenshotting things and being like, hello, I would never say... Hey there, I would never say this. And I just want you guys to know you can go to Reba.com and my restaurant to see anything that I would ever actually say. I did not say that I hate Taylor Swift. <laughs> she literally, did you see that one? <laughs> All right, it's it's a from a website called America Loves Liberty. Also, that's a red flag for me. Big red flag. Reba McIntyre talks about how disappointed she was to look up at the big screen while performing the national anthem only to see Taylor Swift laughing and drinking and making a mockery of the event. I'll let her have it afterward. She's an entitled little brat. So that's the article. Okay. Photo. Everything looks so fucking fake on it. And the the picture, which is obviously clickbait, rage bait, has America Loves Liberty Um, watermark on it and then Reba writes please don't believe everything you see on the internet I did not say this Taylor Taylor is a wonderful artist strong role model and has done so much good for so many people in the music industry I am so fucking embarrassed (laughs) for Reba that she posted that on her own Instagram well you know what I'm not mad at her only because she's elderly yeah, and has elderly fans. Yeah, I guess you're right. So there are probably elderly people like, don't you see that Reba hates Taylor Swift? <laughs> and it's... And because, Reba's getting stressed out over God. it. And the thing is, is <laughs> what was the website called? America Loves Liberty. There's something about when you put the word America and Liberty anywhere on Facebook. It's going to get these elderly conservatives sure riled up. Yeah, yeah, they love it. They see that and they automatically are like, "That's a .gov website." You put America and Liberty together, they're like, "That is a .org." In my opinion, whew, I know what that means. And I and it makes me feel bad because the way that they're purposely, and I'm going to say propaganda, putting this propaganda out to do this to these elderly people is almost, to me, as bad as the romance scams. 
to elderly people because they're putting this information out there because they know these older people love their country, which there isn't anything wrong with it. No. And have a lot of patriotism. And it's almost like religion where it's like, if you don't love your country, you're a bad person. Sure. So they see that stuff. And then these elderly people can't decipher like that. It's not real. And they can't imagine that if, if America's in the title, that it would be fake for sure. And it's sad. I, yeah. I mean, cause they're literally using, and this isn't just for conservatives either. This shit happens on both sides. Like whatever echo chamber, yeah, yeah, whatever echo chamber you're in, there is a scam that they're trying to do to you. Whether you're in the right, the left, the middle, the fucking libertarian echo chamber, whatever your algorithm is, it's going to feed you shit like that. It's going to feed you fake shit. And then it's like, like you're right. Uh, elderly people are specifically prone to this shit because number one, they didn't grow up with technology like this. They weren't Ray. <clears throat> like we came up when scams were like being. Oh, we you, used to get the chain emails. Yeah. We've been at this for a while. Right? Like, we know what's up with the internet. And I mean, Rafe's grandma got fucking tricked one time. Someone called her and said that Rafe was in the hospital, whatever, and they he needed to, um, he couldn't talk because he's being airlifted or something. Like, something crazy, you know? And it's like, I mean, the lady's name is Effie. Oh, that's cute. Uh, it's beautiful. But I'm saying it's an old-timey name. You think Effie's going to hear her grandson? got airlifted somewhere oh, no, i'd be getting my pocketbook out immediately exactly like, what do you need she's like oh god let me get my shit you know let me get my checkbook how much do you need exactly so they're preying on them in multiple different ways they're taking advantage of people who already are at a disadvantage with anything technological and then they're just, they're going hard. They're praying on their heartstrings. They're praying on their patriotism, on all of it. That's actually a good idea. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start a new Facebook that's religious. Just to make money on? Yeah. I Do you know what I was thinking yesterday when I saw that Miley Cyrus thing? I was like, and even the America Loves Liberty on Reba's page. I was like, bro, all of these fucking pages n- some more than others, but they're making so much fucking money on straight up misinformation, right. dude. Like I see, because I am obsessed with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Am I embarrassed to admit it? Kind of. Do I really give a fuck? No, I love it. I love to see a bitch thrive, especially, you know, whatever, Kansas City. We Tay-tay. love it. Tay Tay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh! How could I make a site where I'm not giving out misinformation? But all we do is post inspirational quotes. That's a good one. That is a really good one, and we could do the page together, and we could curate it and split it fifty fifty. Yeah, yeah. And I'd be willing to do some of the work. I'm not fucking joking we either. Could you get think on I'm Canva? playing? You imagine the shit we can make on Canva with a with a cursive font and a beautiful background. You think we're? You see the thumbnails we make? They're fucking incredible. You think I don't know how to photo? You don't even need to be good at it. That's the thing. You don't even have to be good. I mean, pages like this pull in like fucking tens of thousands of dollars a month. And you could just, you could start doing the calls to action because people really fall for that where it's like, if you ignore this, guess what? You're dying. Yeah, we could put a very intense threat like that, or we could say something like, don't ignore this, or whatever family member you have with an autoimmune disease is going to flare up. <laughs> or something maybe, small. Maybe we shouldn't even do that because that's that's cruel. Maybe well, we and it's, like, we're lying. We could do, do like uh, smiley face equals love. Um, you know, they have the different things like smiley. If you if you hit like, it's it's a heart. If you hit mad, it's a rabbit like we can make up our own system we can make our own language up we could do that and we could also be like share this if you love a person right share this if you love grandma yeah it'd be like we can make up shit like 
Well, not even make it up. Today is International Grandparents Day, and then you have the most Share. beautiful AI picture of a, a grandma holding a grandchild. That is literally what these f- things are doing, and, and people they're share it. And uh huh, they're sharing it constantly, and they're commenting on it. They're clicking on it. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on it. I can't wait to become a millionaire by posting bullshit. inspirational quotes. Let's go, bitch. And, and then if people want to say, "Well, that's cruel," I'm just going to say, "Um." I'm out here trying to get my bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying out here to get my bag. Oh, I'm I'm out here just like Bezos trying to get my bag, motherfuckers. I'm trying to get my bag. What's up? And also, uh, we're taking it back from Zuckerberg. Oh, yeah. He doesn't get to have all the money. No. I want some money from Live, Laugh, Love quote. Share it. Share it. Share, Share the it. wealth. Share it. Share it. Guess what's here? Two women in business. Using Canva to succeed. And annihilate the American people. People. And their f- fucked up negative belief system that doesn't allow them to have inspirational quotes infiltrate their minds the way that they should. So if you take our CBD, no, um, <laughs> hey, just get our, try our supplements. They're really good. And maybe we could even call our, our site like Cute Animals. CuteAnimals.com. Dot com. Cute animals. Yeah. Or cute puppies and kittens. We won't actually have cute pu- puppies and kittens. Can I be honest? Or we could do AI generated so we're not stealing stuff from anyone. I think we should do all AI generated. And this should literally just be a Facebook page that we make and dedicate to elderly people. So actually we're doing a service. We're going to keep them away from scams and looking at nice positive photos. And it's and the money's not coming out of their pocket. It's coming out of Zuckerberg's pocket. Exactly. Ads. Now, is it is it taking away from their brains and their bodies? Yeah. But it's not taken out of their pocketbook. No, as long as we're not taking it, you know, what? You know, they pay 20 bucks a month for internet because it's like Medicaid funded or whatever. Medicaid, I don't know which if it's Medicaid or Medicare. Just got an even better idea. Hit me. It's going to be a retro site. Hit like if you used to have this pocketbook. Hit like if you remember Ronald Reagan. (laughs) And it's Ronald Reagan going, and it's an American flag. It's him doing that. And then in the next one, hit like if you remember Ronald Reagan in this movie. And it's Ronald Reagan in his first movie. And we are cranking out content all day long. All day long, cranking out the hits. We're posting, we're going to post a photo of the first telephone ever and be like like and share if you remember this like and share if you know what this or even better i bet no one can name what this is that's great that gets them because then they're like oh i can name it oh they and they start going typing (laughs) i know what that is it's a telephone yeah and then they're like hey hold on a second where's my cell phone Hello? Patricia, I'm not going to make it to bridge this morning. I'm busy. I've got a few things to do on the internet. Uh-huh. Patricia, I'm not yeah. going to make it to bridge. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could be there too. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Okay, see you next week. Uh-huh. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, I... I don't know. I guess that could be nice. What is it that you're doing on the internet, Ralph? (laughs) Well, I... uh, I'm actually getting... I was getting ready to comment. You know what? I actually forgot what I was doing. (laughs) So... I guess I am coming to bridge after all. Yeah, I'll see you guys here shortly, okay? I don't know what I was doing. Okay, bye-bye. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, God, there's so many great, wonderful things we can do. We will literally be taking over the world. Well, I don't think we'll take over the world, but what I think we'll do is be getting a piece of our, what what we're owed as Americans, women. Because the money's out there. You mean we're just going to let everybody take it? No, we're going to get Canva, and we're going to take what's ours. I'm not fucking around, bro. I've been, I mean, 
And just imagine a picture of an AI generated bunny rabbit that says, Happy Easter, he is risen. <laughs> you can't say no to that. You can't say. In the say, most perfect cursive you've ever seen. In the most gentle flower bed you've ever seen. That it doesn't, that, that it, a drop of rain isn't going to hit all week. But it's still dewy. Yeah, it's, it's still dewy. dewy. Oh, it's perfect. Uh, happy Easter. He is risen. And then a picture of a cross. Uh huh. He is risen. Once we. Oh, God. And have it kind of fade off in a nice pastel color and maybe a few little, um, you know, purple, like a rainbow in the background, too. Oh, Ooh. God. It, you hit him with a he is risen. You're going to get anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 shares. Oh, God, yeah. Hit like, uh, please share if you want him to rise. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you ignore this, he will not be he rising. He will not rise. Oh God, there's so, and then St. Patrick's Day, just the cutest leprechaun you've ever seen. <laughs> Luck O the Irish with the O. Oh, with a nice Irish font. Oh. <gasps> My God, we, you, part, okay, listen, there are programs that you can just run all day long that can automate this kind of shit, like all day long, and it can, we can, or, you know, you and I could be crafting I these. I would rather be crafting it. I agree. Because then I know that I earned that money. Okay, listen, I have an idea, and, and, and I, I am joking, but part of me is literally also not, okay? I'm ready. We <clears throat> could have a page that is a site that could also attract elderly people, but also attract fans like ours and people that love things like that and our glitter things and our, our, our cool things that, you know, we share. The You know what I'm talking about? The yes. crystal guy that's like... Yep. Very illuminated. What are they called? Uh, I can't remember the name. But yeah, we just make a page dedicated to all of that. And we're just constantly churning out original Tina and Libby inspirational content. I mean, I think we could have something for everyone. And it's like, so what? Even if I don't believe in God, it doesn't mean that I can't write. He has risen. I've been to church. I have been to an Easter party. And multiple parties. I'm waiting around if he's risen. I don't know if he's not going to rise. And rather, whether you believe in it or not. Doesn't matter. The fact is that. Every year around this time, he will rise. You don't have to believe it, but just know he's rising. That he's rising. Do you think he's not rising? He's rising whether you're watching him rise or not. And his rising is affecting and impacting the lives of people around around us. Okay, so and you might be saying. <laughs> How, you can't exploit religion. Well, you know what? I was exploited as a child in the Catholic religion for years. So it's time for me to take what's mine. We are taking the power back. And he is, I mean, just, I'm so glad it's Easter. He is risen. That's our first banger is I say we kick it off with a bang on an Easter site. And my little brother does software shit. I'm literally not fucking joking. I bet he could set some automation thing up. Where we're churning and burning and we're raking it in, baby. How did these two fat comedians <laughs> take over the world? Ta How did these two comedians take over the Hallmark industry? I mean, he is risen. That's, he is risen. That's that's our what are they what do they say? That's our Roman Empire. That's it. That is our Roman Empire. He's risen. <laughs> He's risen, comma LLC. Un I just can't believe, I can't believe how we are going to change the world by just simply putting positivity, pu putting positivity in the world. He is risen. And it's the, it could even be a, a background photo where it either has, um, what's that called? Um, is it Boca? Boca burgers. <laughs> where you have the veggie burgers. They're not good. Kind of a, uh, uh. And blurred background. You can't, you're not sure what's in the picture, but mm -hmm. clear as day cursive. He 
is risen. Yeah. And oh, we can. Oh, God. <clears throat> The cool thing too is we can have multi. What I say we could do, we could do have one that's just dedicated to, you know, him who's rising, and then we could also do another. He is risen, and we could put Mufasa from the Lion King oh. in the background with a rainbow over him. You know what I'm saying? There's just there's a lot of fun stuff we can do, and yeah, because you don't have to be limited to just one. He is risen post. No, because people are looking to share multiple. <laughs> Before and after Easter. Yeah, people <laughs> Yeah, people are really looking to share mul- multiple, multiple at a time. And I, I, I don't want to get too far ahead, and we got to kind of stop here soon, but I'm hoping at some point we can start making the, the filters that go over people's profile pictures that say, like, he is risen, or I support guns, or... I support Paris. I, I support Paris or I support um, they'll um, never take my guns away from me or mm-hmm. um, LGBTQ. Yeah. Or, I mean, we're going to do it all. We're going to do every we're hitting this from every attack level. OK, just know that your Facebook is going to be revolutionized. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> we do have some branding to do. And listen, <laughs> we're all going to do this is all going to take place in my new office office new that's that was the whole point that's why we brought all this up because uh we're brought up the office because this is a business that we're going to be starting and we really need your guys' support so we really once we get it up and running we're going to need you like share share, and comment and if you have any family members that may be over the age of like 50 Mm -hmm. say hey check out this new page they have a lot of cool graphics that you could share throughout your day um most importantly, you can show everybody he is risen. Mm-hmm. There is so many options, and um, hopefully, the week that he's rising and that this episode comes out, that there we're going to have a lot of really high powered graphics for you guys to be sharing and putting out into the universe. Because I'm going to be honest, this is something that I can do each night, very high on the couch, mm-hmm. and um, or not high, just kind of resting, taking, doing whatever. This is something I can be doing at all times. And churning. vaping at the same time. I can be vaping, vaping. and making these. And rest assured, we're both going to have the log on. So if there's ever a time where she's like, I'm going to be busy for the next four hours, I can be churning out. Content. Graphics. Graphics. And vice versa. If I'm maybe in the restroom a little too long, I could message her and say, hey, yeah. we need a graphic immediately. <laughs> I don't have time to make a graphic right. Or even if I'm on the toilet, I could churn out a few. Maybe some bathroom humor ones. Like, yeah. like if, if your husband's in the bathroom too long. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, absolutely. We could literally just share a photo of a kebab on a grill. <laughs> That's it. We could share a picture of a guy on a toilet like this. <laughs> yeah. And, and you can write like, like if this is your husband in the bathroom, LOL. <laughs> yeah. And then like, I'll text you if I'm ever on a flight and I'm like, hey, I'm in the f- bathroom on the flight and we need a graphic. I'm smoking my vape in the bathroom. We need a graphic. And then we could do stuff like, like this if you think vapes should be outlawed. Yeah. And have like a vape with a big red thing through it and a teenager like oh we could get a screenshot of that baby that was vaping did you see that no dude ai i'm gonna be i don't know what it was but this baby was vaping i'll send it to you it's nuts and if for any reason i find out that is not a real picture you will be banned from our facebook page that hasn't been made yet because you are not (laughs) able to decipher between real and fake (laughs) for sure so what i'm gonna be doing is researching it in depth and then texting you and lying later, okay? <laughs> and okay. Going, yeah, turns out that was uh, AI generated. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, um, we need a graphic, so please, <laughs> God, get ready, get ready for our new Facebook page. Mm-hmm. We're about to be taking it over. It's gonna be good. I've really, I, I, I actually I'm excited. I think this is great. This is actually a great way to make money. I cannot wait to. Make my first he is risen. And then, yeah, meet it. And a fun little game for you guys will be to figure out 
Who, who made this? Yep. Tina or Libby? Did Tina or Libby make this? Bro, <laughs> this is actually one of the funniest, stupidest ideas we've ever come up with that we could actually do. Remember that time that we were like, oh yeah, we're going to be right outside Area 51 and we're going to be like, when everyone's like popping off, things are going on there, we're going to be there with shit buckets for people. And you know, no, we're not going to do that. We're not traveling that far, but this is something we can actually do. Libby can do this in her mosquito yep. net bed anywhere anywhere and i don't even have to have my laptop i can do it simply from my phone do i have a canva subscription yeah <laughs> do i reuse it <laughs> no oh my god this is literally the first time we've ever had an idea that can actually make us money and that we can actually do because it requires little to no commitment. It requires the <laughs> smallest amount of commitment. <laughs> and anytime we think of something funny, whatever, you see a graphic on Facebook when you're on AI.com <clears throat> and you like one, all you have to do is just make one. Yep. Make it based off that. And they don't even have to be good. This is going to be revolutionary. Oh. So yeah, get ready, guys. It's going to be fun. We have to get our page built up first before we can start making money. So we got to just start churning out great He Has Risen content. Exactly. Um, all He Has Risen content. He Has Risen. Uh, follow all the holidays. I'm going to have to get one of those calendars that says like Grandparents Day, Son's Day, Stepdad's Day. Because like if your stepdad means the world to you. Like if your stepdad means the world. I can't fucking wait for this, guys. Oh, man. Well, and that's it for us. That's it for us today. Uh, guys, remember to like, comment, and <laughs> share. Um, we need a graphic. <laughs> he is risen. He is risen. That's the name of the page for sure. <laughs> he is risen. He is risen. Love y'all. Love you and cut.